In written notation, this is the algorithm for which we just used to swap three 1 by 3 blocks. If we rewrite this algorithm in a certain way, we'll have a common form, namely of a commutator. A commutator is an algorithm of form x, y, x inverse, y inverse, where x and y represent two different moves, and then the first move is inverted, and then the second move is inverted. We can see this if we rewrite this algorithm as the following. Here, I have made an equivalent to the corresponding pieces of a commutator form. Clearly, the second piece, which is equivalent to y, is inverted in the fourth piece, for u2 is undone with u2. And for x, the L' prime portion is first undone, here, and then the dw3 times 2 is undone with itself, and then the L is undone with the L prime. Hence, this algorithm has the form of a commutator. Now, if we take this commutator, we can write in a different form that is more useful for us. If we write it with its equivalent, u2y2 for the dw3 times 2, then we have something that's more workable. These two are equivalent because turning the top layer twice and then rotating the whole cube twice is equivalent to moving the bottom three layers twice. We can see this on a cube very easily. Turning the top twice and then rotating the cube twice it is the same as if we move the bottom three twice. Hence, these two are equivalent. Now, we can take this and if we apply y2 to the moves in between the two y2's, then we have an equivalent as well. So basically, with moves in between two y2's, whatever it is, if it's L prime, it'll become an R prime, and if it's L, it'll become an R, and vice versa. U2's won't be affected because when you do U2 and then turn the cube twice, it still does not affect how the U2 affected the cube. Now if we take the inverse, we have an algorithm piece that is much more useful for us. And as a matter of fact, if we compare this to what we need to accomplish, we'll find that they're nearly equivalent. In the top is the algorithm piece we need to derive. In the bottom is the one we have so far, the commutator. As you can see, all the bold moves are equivalent. Hence, we know we're going in the right direction. Taking this commutator, and applying it to a cube, we can see the three blocks which are swapped. So we need to move this 1 by 3 block into the right slice to match the 3 by 3 example. Recall that with the 3 by 3 example, all 1 by 2 blocks were all in the last layer slice. Then we applied the quarter turn and we didn't affect more pieces than necessary. But where do we put this 1 by 3 block? The answer is, we put it in the slot shown here. In order to do this, we can apply setup moves. The first setup move will be L prime. Doing L prime will move the one by three block which was originally down here into the slot which is affected by the commutator. When we undo it, then the one by three block will, that is affected now will be moved down here. Adding this setup move to what we currently have, applying to the cube, we can see that it moved down with no problems. Next, we apply the set of move F2. This will take this 1 by 3 block and put in the 1 by 3 slot which is currently affected by the commutator plus the set of move we just added. By doing that, this 1 by 3 block will be affected when we move it back, hence the 1 by 3 slot affected will move here. Adding this set of move to what we currently have, applying the set of move to the cube, indeed, we have the following result. The 1 by 3 block affected now is here indeed. Finally, we do a quarter turn R. That will place back these 1 by 3 blocks and pull out one from down there, but leaving us with what we need. Two edge QB swapped as well as two 1 by 2 centers. Adding in the quarter turn to what we have so far, 
we are now ready to go through the last steps. Now notice that if this 1 by 4 block is moved up here, then we will match the algorithm piece we wish to derive from the beginning, which swapped these two opposite individual edge cubies and this center and this center down here. The next item move we need to apply is F2. By doing F2, this will move this 1 by 4 block into the slot which is currently affected by the algorithm. Then when we undo it, that block will be moved here. So, going ahead and applying the setup move to what we have, indeed it does move there and this remained there. Adding that in. And finally concluding with the last setup move, which is L. Moving this down, we'll place this 1x4 block up here into the slot which is currently affected by the algorithm. When we undo it, it will move up there. Including this setup move into what we currently have, and applying it to the cube, indeed it did move up without any problems. This is a situation which we wanted to derive from the start. These two individual edge cubes are swapped oppositely, and these two centers are swapped diagonally. Now it may be obvious that all we need to do is add in R2B2, the original setup moves which we omitted. And indeed we have the original form that we need. Finally, notice this is longer in moves than the algorithm we want to derive. However, there are move cancellations. To start with, we can cancel F2 and F2. Next, L prime and L. Then L and L prime. And that is all the move cancellations that we can do. This is a matter of fact, the algorithm for which we wanted to derive. See you later.